neighbor's baby again? I could hear it through earplugs, two pillows, and three sleeping bills. Hmm. What is wrong with you? I just said, hmm. You're trying to figure out some deeper significance to my having a couple of crappy nights. Which one of us is analyzing the word hmm here? Fine. Sorry. Apology accepted. However, mm. it's not the crying that's keeping you awake. The sound of a needy child is stirring your paternal juices. The sound of a needy child at 112 decibels has stirred my inner murderer. Don't mess with me. Explain the stains on your shirt. You're lactating. The fact that you're the only fruit on your family tree is getting to you. It's not a big deal. So I'll probably never be a dad. It's, it sucks. I'll lose a little sleep, but. You're not supposed to feel bad when you dodge a bullet. It's like you got survivor's guilt. There are actually things in this world that give life even more meaning than soap operas and monster trucks. And we happen to be missing out on at least one of them. Remember the falconer? Beth? You dated two falconers? Yes, Beth. The night the two of you split up, you came around to my place, wallowing in self-pity and tequila. You passed out. She called that night, asked me to give you a message. She said she was pregnant. Which? God and planned parenthood willing means you are the father of an 11 year old. I told you the next morning, hypothetically, I asked you how you'd feel if Beth had gotten pregnant and you said, and I quote, it would be the worst mistake of my life. And scene. Two performances Sunday, dark Mondays? Just as well. I called Beth. I have an 11 year old son. Why don't we just assume that you're not the dad? Either you're the dad or she cheated on you with your dad. Oh! Sand art. I used to love this. He's bitter, not mentally handicapped. Who knows what Beth told him about you? But worse, you're a rapist. The best, you're a rapist. Maybe she said I was a dead war hero. Raised by a lunatic mother and abandoned by his father. Oh, I know, squirrel handcuffs. He's got need of those. If you really wanted me to do nothing with this information, then why did you give it to me? Because you were pining for a kid, and you deserve to know that you already have one. But your parental cravings are more theoretical and applied. You want vicarious immortality more than you want a lifelong burden. You're assuming he's going to be a nightmare. What if he's a good kid? He's a kid. The best you can hope for is he's a nightmare. House, I'm not naive. I realize that this thing could go very badly. But the point is, my son wants to meet me, and I want to meet him. 